hello guys hot up welcome in this new video tutorial with the young dev i'm really really excited about this video we are going to create a qr code server generator uh, we are going to do this with a simple api using uh, the python framework fast api i hope that you already know this framework and uh, if you are new with this framework go in the channel i did a couple of lessons about fast api and maybe it will help you go fastly uh, in learning this um, uh, this framework and uh, start with you rapidly uh, this is what we are going to do in this video we will use the api and uh, the client will send the message the server will encode the message with the qr code and send it back to the client that is what we are going to do in this video so first of all let's start by creating a file called uh, api um i wanted to create it in a folder but no way let's do it like this api.py then first of all we have some package to import we have uh, from fast api uh okay <laughs> i forgot to install let's install before pip install fast api okay okay it will install then we'll call fast api we'll call uh fast api like this Okay, you can see like this and we call also form uh, that will be uh, important to to use forms then we'll import uvcon okay let me install it also pip3 install uvcon okay great and uh, now we will use uh, from typing import um, we'll import optional okay I got it now from pydentic we import base model now we create our first api app just like this really simple and the first thing that we are going to do we are going to uh, create uh, a get method uh, we are going to create a get method okay um, the get method will be called uh, generate then qr generate qr code maybe something like this or maybe uh qr slash generate things better than this version right qr generate then uh, after this uh, what we are going to do is that we will create the function <laughs> i hope that you really know how uh, fast uh, api work uh, it can be uh, a as an async function it can be a synchronous function so uh, let's get here the text that we uh, will use to encode so the text is uh, of course an xtr it can be a link it can be a text it can be uh, anything that the user want to send to us okay then we will create a function uh, for uh, creating uh, the QR code you can use this uh, this actual code that we did before okay let's copy this one and come here uh, in API maybe I can just uh, uh, create a function right here you can do like this dev uh, uh, create QR okay you can do it like this I'll take uh, the text of course an str and uh, i will just uh, you know indent all the codes like this and i will just put here text okay uh, if i do it like that um let's say i call it a uh, uh, generate generated one okay let's call it like that no logic behind uh, let's just do something simple let's just call it generated one dot png and um i think everything is good i go in the path tree uh in the api now i'll call this from um oh here is it is part one created qr um, now we'll use created qr to create here uh, let's create created qr will send uh, right the text that we got when it create the qr code we need now to send back a response to the client and uh, this response is going to be a file so we are going to use a uh, file protocols to send the files through the networks so uh, to send files through the networks we need to import some uh, specific packages and we will import them now i'll import file 
from fast api that is a okay oops that is a package that will help us uh format files we will also import from os we'll import uh get cw and remove okay and uh, after this we will again import from fast api dot responses will import uh, file response okay and json response <laughs> maybe for the next the next part that we are going to see okay json response okay i think that uh, we are good uh, we have fast api here we have fast api here we have fast api here don't worry about this uh, this line like errors because um it's just there to uh, to show us that uh, the environment there doesn't detect uh, even if you have installed it already okay let me uh, come out of this now to send back uh, the QR code we need to create the file name because uh, our file has a name and uh, this name I think uh, we, we, we call it uh, generated something like this generated one dot png okay let's go there and call it like that exactly like that generated one dot png and now we will return okay we will return to the client file response and file name media type uh it can be um image uh, slash png but knowing that we are sending to the network and we want to send it like a stream we are going to change this media type and we'll use application slash update stream okay uh, now i use a uh, file name and call it file name okay uh, i think everything is good here um, I, I, <laughs> I just i'm just thinking if i didn't forget something oh now we need to get it back here i did an error i think that everything is good now um we'll try to execute but before executing uh, i will just do this if uh, we execute so run uvcon the host should be the default local host uh, like you can already uh, know i think now we have our port and i can run it now um battery.py okay we have uh, no it's not battery it's api <laughs> sorry guys okay api mm, from fast api import okay this from not import okay wait we always have errors like this guys okay from typing import optional i don't use it now i can remove i can even remove the pydentic one uh, no problem with that let's run again uh, i think the server is ready and i think uh, the server is ready so i'll just open uh, uh, my browser here uh, i type uh, this one and i think uh, what i put was cura slash um, generator something like that i forgot um what did i call it generate okay great now i add a question mark to uh, put the text and this text should be normally uh, data that i want to send okay i can uh, put something like youtube.com okay if i type enter oh we have uh, an error on the server uh, what do we have as error? I said IO file. Oh, great. Um, I didn't install it. Let me install IO file. It's very important for it to run. Cannot run be, uh, without it. It cannot run without um, a IO file. Also, I think we have also uh, Python multipath. I will install it also. pip3 uh, install python multipath that will be needed to uh, to normally send those files across the network uh, let's run our server again let's go and I'll, I'll open this then i'll go again uh, so you can see it's asking me to download something generated 1.png i suppose that it is the image and uh, 
if I open it here, I'll see normally a QR code. This is it. <laughs> Great, guys. And let me scan it to see if uh, the data in this QR code is actually the data that I sent through the network using the API. So let me uh, test it. Okay, let's go. Great. <laughs> you have YouTube.com. So that is how you can uh, do basic stuff. That is really a simple, simple example uh, of what we can do. Like we can simulate a server generator. It's very, very simple, guys. And using uh, fast API make it a lot of more simple. Uh, we will um, really in the next video work on a real project. Like I told you, here was just a simulation. In the next video, we will have a server, we will have a mobile app, uh, a client, and we will try to have this communication um, uh, between the two uh, devices. And we will uh, also uh, implement something like database to, uh, to know exactly what are all the QR codes that have been generated before. Uh, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you love the video. I hope that it helps you. Uh, then the, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. It's very important for me. Uh, activate the bell notification to be notified the next time I push a new video. See you soon, Young Dev.